hello guys welcome to this tutorial my name is Cell, and I'm happy to come your way once again now in this video we're going to be looking at the new update on the inspection schedule right for so those of you who have been following us in our previous video you realize we introduced a dashboard and we did mention that potentially the inspection log could be further enhanced so we've done just that all right so we took our time to create a dashboard this is totally different from the one you saw the other time because that one was just um, a dashboard you created on the go it wasn't really a big deal so this time around we've done the dashboard and as you can see this is a very powerful dashboard very colorful looking dashboard and it has some interesting features all right so over here you can see the various inspection you know programs and the percentage completion rates and this overall you know completion rate now we went a step further to now introduce a corrective action rate which is based on the status of actions that you will be um, recording from your inspection programs now the inspection log has been revised you know slightly we've been able to introduce the action plan in there so it's not just about logging your inspections you, when you find issues you have to provide corrective actions you need to set a target date assign it to somebody responsible um, and you will be able to determine the status of action so that you can then track the days due for those those actions so um, if the action is closed then nothing is being tracked because it has been closed if the action is open then the days due is going to be tracked for you and then you can also provide uh, whoever does the verification to i mean with regards to the status of the action so everything stays the same apart from these few changes that we've introduced you know we have this inspection report that's what we use for the dashboard and we did introduce you know another sheet which is the action status so that's basically the number of actions that are open and closed because that's what we actually use you know to populate this section to keep it dynamic all right so everything stays the same um this tool is strictly for logging workplace inspections as, or scaling your inspection programs and executing them according to plan all right so you begin by providing a list of inspection programs to set their frequencies the person responsible their job titles and departments now over here is um, some codes that or codings are used that you're utilizing the inspection shadow so P denotes plan, C denotes completed. Over here is the frequencies for those inspection programs. So here you have the number of times as per the frequency. Now down here, you need to indicate whether you work on weekdays, sorry, you work on weekends or not. If you work on weekends, then obviously you have the entire 365 days to carry out your inspection, you know, if you're using daily. Now, if you don't work on weekends, then you would have here you know you need to do a bit of adjustment so that that's you know the deduction automatically to estimate 261 days for your daily inspections if your inspection program is on a daily basis now beginning of every year you need to make sure that you set the you know the starting date of the year to automatically adjust you know the the calendar all right now over here on the inspection schedule this is a drop down list and the drop down list is coming from the approved list right it's coming from this side so you simply populate your you know the inspection column with all inspection programs and that will automatically populates the frequency for those inspections now based on the frequencies you take your time to you know denote with c to plan all inspections as per the frequency and once you carry those inspections you need to denote with p now on the far you know end over here you realize the bit of calculation in here and that is solely for the, for the purpose of estimation or estimating the percentage completion rates now after you are done updating and carrying out your inspections you need to make sure that you log your inspection so once you log your inspections all deviations that are found you know from those inspection programs you need to provide a corrective action set a target date you know assign it to a responsible person and then find out the status of the corrective action or the remedial action if the action is open the due days will be tracked for you if it's closed then it's going to be indicated as closed all right then whoever verified it to provide it as such now after 
completing this log and then updating all of this just make sure you go to the data tab on the menu to click on refresh all so refresh all would update the dashboard and it will also update you know all the other reports within the workbook so that's it guys we've been able to introduce a new update this sort of completes the inspection schedule so um, if you're interested in this template you know feel free to get in touch you can always reach us on our website just visit us on www.shexel.com so there's our, our home page if you want to reach us simply click on the live chat all right we're going to respond to you instantly you can also feel free to book a meeting just click here and you're able to book a meeting you know with sale all right so guys that's it guys if you're interested in this template you know don't hesitate to get in touch i'm gonna sort you out all right bye for now and meet you again soon in our next video